So people get referred to me or refer themselves to me and I assess them to see if they're uh, eligible for an assisted death. And then we need to get the second doctor and the patient's formal written request. And then there's a 10 day waiting period and we plan the actual event, which means that uh, the patient chooses the time and the place and uh, who's gonna be with them. And then uh, I uh, get the medications and I inject the medications and that person dies. So usually the events are positive because usually these people have been suffering for a long time and the family has seen the suffering and they're so ready to be finished and they're so uh, pleased to be in control of something finally. Sometimes the suffering is so terrible that uh, it's just relief people feel at the end. And sometimes the people left behind are, are grieving really hard. But over and over again, when we're doing the planning together or we're ac I'm actually providing, I'll see, you know, the, the tears and the sadness are in the people left behind. But the person who's going, she's smiling. <laughs> I have had to say no. And I find that actually the hardest thing that I do is saying no. Every single one of the people that I've said no to is suffering terribly from a grievous and irremediable condition, but that condition does not shorten their life. And they're not old enough to consider that their de death would be in the foreseeable future. And so it's really hard to say no to these people because I believe under our constitution, they would have the right, but I can't provide under the, our current law.